What's up my crypto legends in this episode we're taking a look at the price of Bitcoin if we do stay above $21,400 here looking at the daily I do see us forming a major pattern that could trigger a breakout above $25,000 in a matter of a couple of weeks and go to much higher levels. We're also taking a look at Bitcoin on the lower time frames. I'm going to share some levels here that could get respected and potentially by next week we could see Bitcoin back up here 23k and we also taking a look at the stock market guys stock market is pumping s&p 500 i'm going to share with you what i do think is going to happen in the next coming days so make sure to stay tuned hi there andy here welcome back to another episode of bitcoin Census. if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe daily today on bitcoin crypto also do live streams to connect with a community and i'm not a financial advisor do not buy or sell anything that i say if you do so do your own research let's dive in here guys because what i want to explain here is that bitcoin is getting supported for the moment from these higher lows right over here we did create these higher highs as you can see so it's forming a kind of an ascending broadening wedge okay that could be bearish or an ascending cylinder okay an accumulating ascending cylinder right from jesse livermore i'll be leaving the picture right over here and everything points out that this could actually happen because most of the people are still quite bearish $25,000 range is the most important resistance zone that we need to break in my personal opinion so we can see the end of the bear market so these lows will be the actual bottom it will be the actual bottom if we do break $25,300 range successfully all right in the next coming weeks we have to see if this is going to happen and I just want to show you with this pattern that there is a possibility, guys, because most of the people are bearish. And if we do take a look at the timing, OK, and yes, history doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. OK, if we do see the timing of this bear market, OK, over a year, it's very similar to the bear market, OK, from 2018, 2019. All right. The timing is very, very similar here with this move down. Now, nobody expected such a huge pump back in 2019 when we were trading around about $4,000 and just a matter of a couple of months, we went all the way up almost to $14,000, all right, in a matter of a couple of months. Nobody was expecting such a huge pump. Now, this breakout from the last lower high range indicated the bottom. So I think a similar event could happen in the next coming weeks and nothing better like an accumulation cylinder here. Now, yes, the most important level that we need to break is $25,300. Now, we did get rejected here just a couple of weeks from that level, not managing to break it. Now we're having a big retracement, okay? Now, we are getting supported. Like I said, if we do hold above the last higher low from this pattern over here, which is right over here at $21,400, their possibility in getting a huge bounce here and finally attempting to break 25k in the next couple of weeks is very very likely guys okay so this is something that i'll be paying attention all right in the next coming day to see how we form this potential pattern if we do break 21,400, this will be invalidated and we could get an aggressive drop okay to this range around about eighteen thousand dollar where we do have our next major support level okay we'll be hitting fibonacci level uh, a proven support resistance zone we'll be going through that but for the moment it is holding remember guys for those experienced traders you do have a massive bonus down below of thirty thousand dollars on bybit this is my favorite crypto trading platform okay if you use the link down below in the description you can get up to thirty thousand dollars that can be claimed at the rewards hub for your trading and what i want to explain here on the lower time frames right over here is this kind of price action right how we did tap that level to perfection okay from higher lows as you can see right there just tapping that range i think that if we do come down try and attempt to break again the 21,900 low that we were that we did create and hold this range we've got a major weekly level right over here that hasn't been touched we could see a failed breakout a swing failure pattern here this is something that I'm paying attention right now here for the next couple of days because I am just about to, to enter this potential trade, all right, for that bounce. Now, not only that, not only we do have the higher low support trend line and a major weekly level, we are also forming a Gartley pattern. It has been formed basically, all right, with timing. We could stay at this range for the next few days still, all right, with timing because if I do take a look at the levels here from this high, from this higher low to this high over here, right we retrace to the 618 very nicely that is absolutely perfect 
for this formation of the Gartley, coming up to the 50% Fibonacci right there, and right now hitting the 7, 8, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful Gartley pattern, hitting the support level range right over here. So that bounce is just very, very possible, okay? Where could this bounce go to? Where is the first target? Well, it would be the 618 from the C to D point, guys. And this is what I am looking for here for the next coming days. If we do get the highs here to the lows, you know, there's just such a huge amount of support. Now, I'm not in any long position just yet. I would love to see a, a larger retracement or a test here of the lows of 21,900, potentially to get that really nice, good risk to reward guys. Remember, risk management for me is the most important thing when trading. And I wanna get there, try and get one of the best entries to have a nice invalidation point, okay? With a very tight stop loss, okay? Because if we do, you know, enter at higher levels, unless I do see a massive sign of strength, I'm not gonna long, okay, as we're pumping. So this is what I do think here, looking at the lower time frames, guys. Um, not much, mu much, mu much more to add. Okay, if we zoom in, we're just consolidating. It is the weekend. We almost, you know, almost came down to the six one eight. All right, well, this is something that was mentioned on yesterday's live stream. That yeah, stay cautious, guys, with longs because this could be a dead cat bounce, and we could come down and test the lows. All right, looking at the one hourly or at least the six one eight. If we take a look at the low here to the high, you know, we just almost touched. That 618, okay, we were just a few dollars off here from testing the 618. So what I'm expecting now, you know, we could either ABC correction here, all right, and go to slightly higher levels, um, or we can actually come down, you know, and, and test the lows. Stay extremely cautious. This is a, a very difficult range to, to trade. Now, of course, on the lower time frames, yeah, you could take advantage from this massive zone, all right, take a look at the fixed volume range, okay, profile and you know try and trade the lows and the highs from this massive range um but yeah stay cautious as you can see there's a lot of volatility a lot of people are leveraging you know the these moves look at the wicks that, that we do have in this range okay so stay extremely cautious of getting stopped out okay with your scalps because this is a difficult range a lot of volatility inside of this range guys okay not much to be said all right we're just looking at the higher time frames it is the weekend we're just in a large consolidation i think we're just going to be bouncing up and down here for the next coming hours in between today and tomorrow also i'll be doing a live stream afterwards guys so make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell if you're not subscribed already we're going to be talking about more in depth okay over the analysis and you know how we could uh, take advantage of this potential zone all right that is forming uh, let's jump in right away into the S&P 500 because S&P 500 did get a huge bounce here as you can see. Now, we were talked about this support level for the last few days, all right? It was the point of control from the zone, all right? Um, like taking a look at the volume profile, point of control right there was exactly at 3,950. We we're also hitting the lower high resistance trend line as you can see here, macro lower high resistance trend line as support and also the 618 from this low okay, to the high. So that was a beautiful bounce, very much expected, um, you know, for the last few days. Now, something surprising that the price of Bitcoin was dropping as the price of the S&P 500, okay, the points were actually going up, uh, which was pretty, uh, you know, usually they are quite correlated. So we saw a massive pump on the stock market and Bitcoin dropping aggressively. I do see the stock market potentially coming back up to test the highs. There is a high possibility right now after getting this huge bounce from this insane support, guys. This is a massive, massive support level, like I explained. Lower high, macro lower high trend line. We got the point of control from the volume trade of the last several months, okay? Looking at seven, nine months, all right, of price action. That point of control is exactly right there. And locally here, for the last few months, we are trending to the upside, creating slightly higher high, but higher lows right there. So there is a possibility in coming to attempt to hit this high again, okay? No matter how bearish the world looks, you know, the economy and everything is looking very, very bad. You know, when there is a massive crash or there is a massive crisis, all right, or a recession, it's not that predictable as it is right now. A lot of people are predicting this. A lot of people are expecting much lower levels on, on stock market, on, on Bitcoin, on everything. Everybody's bearish. So, you know, there is, it's just not possible, all right? It's not highly predictable, these, these uh, recessions. So the possibility in going to higher levels, all right, 
is is just very very likely all right the unexpected expect the unexpected and the unexpected on stock market is actually testing these highs and potentially even breaking them to test this high over here in the next coming weeks of course this could trigger that possibility of this accumulation accumulating cylinder all right and bitcoin finally breaking above 25.2k levels all right in the next coming weeks guys I'll be doing a live stream afterwards, so make sure to stay tuned. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.